Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to completely wipe the data off of your devices or your hard drives. Please note that this will not work on solid state drives or flash drives. Um, this is only applicable to mechanical hard drives, which would be in most um, older um, laptops or desktops. Uh, also, a quick disclaimer, I'm not responsible if you accidentally delete uh, data you did not intend to. Um, the disk that I'm going to show you how to create uh, will completely wipe uh, all uh, disk drives, all hard drives in the computer or attached to the computer that you insert this disk into. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is burn your uh, disk nuke CD. So you're going to need to go to dban.org. So it's just www.dban.org. On their homepage, you'll just click on download. For this video, we're just going to use the free version here. So you click on this first download link. Wait for your download to start. Once your download starts, you want to go ahead and save the file. Once your file is done downloading, go to your downloads folder and you'll have locate the DBAN ISO image. You'll know because over under type it'll say disk image file. If you're on Windows 7 you can just double click the file or if you're on Windows 8 right click and then click burn disk image. Uh, real quick if you're on Windows 7 or sorry Windows XP you will have to download an ISO image burner first. Select your DVD or CD burner drive. Make sure you have a, a CD or DVD inserted and then go ahead and click burn. Once the disk has finished burning you'll get a confirmation message that the disk is successfully burned to the disk. Go ahead and click on close and remove the disk from your drive. Now please keep in mind at this point this is a live bootable disk and any computer you put this in you run the risk of completely nuking the disk to where, or actually the computer to where it will not boot anymore and all the files will be removed. So please use this disk with caution. Don't leave it in your computer and restart it. Um, it's not like it's going to wipe it automatically, but it's just not a safe thing to do. Now, if you're going to be wiping a, an entire computer, uh, simply insert the disk into the CD drive of the computer you wish to wipe and turn on the computer. If you want to delete any additional hard drives, or if you have a bunch of drives sitting around, go ahead and make sure you have those drives hooked into the computer as well. You can do that by simply opening up the side of the computer and plugging in some additional drives. Once you have the disk in the computer, go ahead and turn it on and press F12 on the keyboard to enter the boot screen. On some computers, it may not be F12, but as you turn in your computer, you should get a prompt on the screen that says boot options. And you want to press whatever key it tells you to press. From the boot menu, you want to select CD-ROM and boot from your CD-ROM device. Some computers may be configured to automatically boot from the CD-ROM automatically. Once you get to the DBAN, type in auto nuke. And keep in mind at this point, as soon as you click enter after typing in auto nuke, it will automatically begin the process of completely wiping your hard drives. Once you type in this command and hit enter, there is no reversing what it will do to the drives. So please double check, triple check to make sure that you are wiping the correct computer and that every drive that is connected is a drive that you want to be wiped, including any attached USB drives, pretty much anything that's connected to that computer um, is going to be wiped. Now the process may take several hours depending on the size of the drive. Uh, it could even take up to um, 8 to 12 to 24 hours depending on how large the drive is. Once the application finishes you'll be presented with a DBAN succeeded screen where it'll show you each drive that was connected and give you a pass or a fail if it was successful or not. If the drive did fail you may be resorted to having to physically destroy the drive. Now to show you that the drives are completely erased, I went ahead and took out the boot CD and restarted the computer just to see what I would get now. And this is what you'll see. You'll get a disk boot failure, insert system disk and press enter. And this is because the drive has been completely erased and there is nothing 
left on it for it to load. But of course, there are some programs out there that try to recover data. So in here I'm showing, this is a over-the-counter um, hard drive recovery tool that you can purchase um, that does a pretty good job at recovering files after a format or, ex or after you've accidentally deleted or if the drive fails. Um, but as you can see here, it was not able to find any files on the drive that we wiped. So there you have it. Um, again, I'll say this isn't um, going to work on solid state drives or flash drives. Um, and it's not a guaranteed solution. It's a free solution. It's an easy solution. Um, if you're going to sell or donate your computer, run this on it, wipe everything completely off of it. Um, it's going to be great, you know, for most uses. A regular user is not going to be able to get your, your information back off of your computer. Um, governments and people that have way more time on their hands there are still ways to attempt to recover part of the data. Um, but I feel pretty good um, that this is a way to remove all data. It's a method I use um, for drives when I get rid of them. And um, it's been working good for me so far. So thanks for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you haven't checked it out yet, check out my website at techtipguru.com. There's a form there. You can uh, sign up for an account and uh, ask questions there. And um, I'll use those um, possibly to make a new video in the future. So again, thank you for watching.